to the historical survey of graphic design. The story of a gradual yet inevitable progress from small, primitive, uncivilized societies inevitably marching forward with progress and development to an inevitable grand future that you see today. We go from ancient Greece and Rome to the Renaissance, to the Enlightenment, to the Industrial Revolution, and into the 20th and 21st century. And all along we make gradual, yet inevitable- Excuse me, professor? Excuse me? Um, I'm trying to teach here, who are you? It seems like what you're saying isn't true. I mean, is it, is it really true that where we are now is better than all previous times? That it was inevitable that we ended up here? I mean, that's not right. Shut up. No, you shut up. we've begun dismantling or decolonizing the old canon of graphic design history, we have to get to work building a new one. There's a lot of work to be done. Maybe you can do some of it. I'm Professor Lemon, and this is Historical Survey of Graphic Design A also known as CDH 150, and I'm really looking forward to teaching it this year. We're going to do some radically different things. Let me read you a quote from a designer named Ahmed Ansari, and what he says about design history is that it should aim to cultivate many different ways of thinking, being, and designing derived from different artifices and worldviews aimed at addressing many different needs and desires. So that's the way we're gonna approach it this year, is really, again, trying to broaden out the definition of design and look at design from lots of different cultures, not just the dominant culture, not just mainstream cultures, not just European, Western, male cultures, but a lot bigger picture than Todd. Um, but for now, more on all of that later. For now, I just wanna tell you about how the course is organized. 
every week you're going to have some videos to watch. One will be like this with me in it, and the other ones will be some resources I found online, like TED Talks or talks by other designers. So you're going to watch a couple of videos. You're going to take a little quiz. The quiz is not going to have uh, questions about memorizing objects or memorizing dates. Instead, it's going to ask your opinions about things, your thoughts about things, ask you to question and look at and analyze things that you've seen in the videos. You are um, certainly invited to use this book as reference. There will be a couple sections that we review from the book. But the primary means of um, learning you're going to be doing is hands-on activities in addition to the videos. So there's a packet available for you at the bookstore that's going to have all of the supplies that you need and a little um, handbook that has the instructions for each week's activity, how it's going to be graded, a place for you to take notes, and an introduction to, to the, the videos. So, um, and all of that is going to be stored on D2L. So the first thing that you'll need to do is make sure that you can log in to D2L. Uh, you sign in with your Kutztown password and email. And when you get to uh, D2L, it'll look a little something like this. You can find historical survey of graphic design A and the content will be located under content. There will be something for you to look at every week. And every week there'll be a little checklist for you to keep on top of things. Uh, anything, videos or stuff to read will be posted. Um, there'll be links to all the videos. There'll be links to the quiz of the week. And every week there's an activity. The directions will be posted in a written form. And also there will be a link to a demonstration on YouTube that shows you exactly how to do the project step by step. Each one is about half an hour long, so it shouldn't take you too much time. Every assignment is due the following Monday. So that's basically the quiz and the project of the week will be due every Monday. And there's where to reach me in case you have any questions. So that's about it. Hopefully you have a good semester. Hopefully. You got to pay attention. Show up to class. Do the online BS. Turn it all in. You'll be fine. Have fun. Have a good semester. <laughs>